job has taken him to tiny homes and tree houses all across New England. And it's really become a booming business in the COVID era. Fox 61's Audrey Kuchin caught up with a young entrepreneur showing everyone how to really escape it all. As a kid, I'd always wanted like a tree house. I mean, what kid didn't? 22-year-old Ethan Abbotts is living out those childhood dreams and some. For the last eight months, he's been traveling solo throughout New England, staying in tree houses, tiny homes, yurts, and cabins, showcasing unique rentals in remote areas for a growing audience of Instagram followers who are living vicariously through his voyage. I think your journey speaks to the adventuring kid inside all of us. The feeling that you get when you're, you know, walking on a elevated bridgeway between trees going to stay in a tree house like it's wild it's indescribable a recent stay at bluebird farm in willington connecticut brought him across miles of farmland and rolling hills to this sanctuary tucked high away in the trees Partnerships with Airbnb and Verbo hosts who appreciate his online influence have literally opened so many doors. Everyone wanted to get away. Everyone needed to take a weekend to themselves and de-stress. And I was kind of in like the perfect position to, you know, be able to capture that and show that you can still find some um, reprieve from the insanity of the daily life that a lot of people were experiencing. Bankrite reporting a travel trend that vacationers are more likely to stay closer to home, drive rather than fly, and visit places with outdoor activities rather than urban centers and indoor attractions. So while many tourism-based businesses like hotels and inns have taken a hit in the COVID era, Abbott says vacation rental by owner hosts he's worked with are reporting a record year. People have just gravitated to being able to rent their own spot away from everything and everyone. From off the grid, solar powered homes to renovated school buses and shipping containers, Abbott's has stayed at nearly 100 properties and counting and is documenting it all for a film and book to highlight eco-friendly and sustainable living. I love stuff like that and I want to be able to tell those stories and kind of show as many people as I can just how many different ways of living are out there and you know the the cool things that you can do when you really like get creative and you know live with intention like that. More at fox61.com. Audrey Kuchin, Fox 61. Pretty cool. Yeah. Have you stayed in a yurt? <laughs> no, can't say I have. <laughs> Me or a either. treehouse. I know. But there's a first time for everything they once do COVID look cool, gets done. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they look really neat.